It is July 1st and that means new laws go into effect across Washington state. So that includes new gun safety laws, which not only impact gun owners, but gun shops as well. King Pies Kayla Lafferty spoke with one gun shop owner about the implications here. First, Kayla, what are the new restrictions people are waking up to this morning? Well, there is a ban that starts today on owning parts to build untraceable firearms known as ghost guns. There's also a ban on buying and selling high capacity magazines, both starting today. So Mary's Pistols in Tacoma say they've been busier than ever with customers looking to stock up on high capacity magazines ahead of the ban. These are magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Rebecca Huckins, who works at Mary's Pistols, says the new restrictions are harder on small locally owned gun shops than they are are on big retailers like Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's. They're getting the better deals. They're at the bigger box store. So it's probably still hard on them per se, but what they have for inventory, they can just ship to another Cabela's. So it's really no sweat off their back. It's us that's going to, you know, the small businesses that are going to kind of hurt from this. And it is important to note here uh, for gun owners, they can still legally use and have these high capacity magazines. They just can't purchase them here in the state of Washington anymore. Live in Bellevue, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News. Thanks, Kayla. And I spoke with a Second Amendment rights attorney about these new laws. He believes limiting the number of rounds you can carry only hurts lawful gun owners and their ability to protect themselves. The state calls this a high capacity magazine ban and they limit it at 10 rounds, but probably 90% of all uh, semi-automatic handguns that are sold have standard capacity magazines, which exceed 10 rounds. In fact, 12 to 15 rounds is probably your most common uh, carry capacity in most modern day handguns. William Kirk with the Washington Gun Law also tells me he expects the ban to eventually be overturned by this U.S. Supreme Court. He points out a similar law in California is being challenged right now in the Ninth Circuit, and that could have implications here in our state eventually. Kirk does agree with the new law banning illegal ghost guns because 80 percent of all gun crimes are committed with illegal weapons. He says any law that helps trace these weapons and prevent the criminals from getting an illegal gun is a good thing.